sampai kau tiada bertahan Semua takkan mampu mengubahmu Hanyalah kau yang ada di hatiku Hanyalah dirimu Mampu membuat ku jatuh dan mencinta Kau bukan hanya sekedar indah Sampai kau tiada bertahan Semua takkan mampu mengubahmu Hanyalah kau yang ada di hatiku Hanyalah dirimu Mampu membuat ku jatuh dan mencinta Kau bukan hanya sekedar Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Shalom Om Swastiastu Namo Buddhaya And may peace be upon us all The Honorable Chancellor of Universitas Brawijaya Professor Widodo SSE MSE PhD Medical Science The Council's Members Board of Trustees And Staff of Universitas Brawijaya The Honorable Board of Directors Board of Artistic And Board of Festival the Honorable Chairman of Brawijaya University Student Choir and the Honorable, the committee members and the participants and the audiences. Welcome to the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022. First of all, we would like to thank you because we are happy and grateful to have you today in the opening ceremony of the Tan International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, here I'm Rani Tara and my partner, Firyanda, as the master of ceremony of this opening ceremony. 
we would like to say thank you to Universitas Brawijaya and Brawijaya University Student Choir as the organizer, as well as our media partner and sponsor. Event Campus, Area Lomba.id, Info.lomba, Event Pelajar, Olimpiade Update, Info Event and also for our sponsor Telkomsel, Linggar Prabangkara, and Baraka Kavi. And now, please let us read for you our today's agenda. First, we have opening. The second one, we have dance performance from Unitantri. And then we're having remarks from the Chancellor of Universitas Brawijaya. Board of Artistic. The Chairman of Brawijaya University Student Choir. The Chief of Committee of the Tant International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2020. Next, we're going to watch the opening video of the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022, and then introduction of the jury panels and closing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Uni Tantri! Thank you. 
What a fascinating traditional dance, isn't it, Ranitara? Yes, of course, Virianda, because they are the beautiful dancers from Unitantri. And do you know about it? Well, Unit Aktivitas Karawitan dan Tari Universitas Brawijaya, or Unitantri, is an organization as a medium for students of Universitas Brawijaya to develop their potential and skills in traditional music and dance. Now, let us move to the next agenda, which is remarks. The first remark is from our Chancellor of Universitas Brawijaya, Professor Widodo SSE, MSE, PhD, Medical Science. Please. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom, Om Swastu, Namo Buddhaya, may peace be upon us all. On behalf of the Chancellor of Universitas Brawijaya, I am the Head of Student Welfare of Universitas Brawijaya would like to read out the remarks. To the Honorable the Chancellor of Universitas Brawijaya, the Vice Chancellor and all staff, and the entire academic community of Universitas Brawijaya, the juries, Board of Artistic, Board of Festival, and whom I love, Brawijaya University Student Choir, as the committee of this outstanding event. First of all, let us extend our thanks and praise to the Lord because of his blessing, we can perform the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival from this day on, 15th July to the 18th July 2022. Hosting and competition particularly internationally, is not an easy thing at this time. It takes a lot of adjustment to think hard, creative, and need extra time and energy. I proudly, proudly congratulate our students from the Brawija University Student Choir, especially the committee, which, with all of the efforts and hard work, successfully open up a golden community opportunity for seniors around the world to participate in the 10th International Project Choir Festival 20 and 22. On this occasion, I also express my heartfelt thanks to all who have supported the 10th International Project Choir Festival 20 and 22 Without that help, this event cannot be done successfully. I hope with this cooperation, the relationship between Universitas Brawijaya and the parties will improve and be able to reconnect in the future. Also, I welcome all contestants or participants to the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 20 and 22. Thank you from the bottom of my heart that you have joined the competition by contributing energy, time, and thought on the way to several points. May all your efforts be grateful. Last but not least, let's begin and prove to the world by being the best among the good. 
It's not about losing or winning. It's about how strong you are and how to show your courage to hold on and move on. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Om Santi Santi Om Namo Buddhaya. On behalf of the Chancellor of Universitas Brawijaya, staff, and all related parties, I declare that the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022 officially starts. Thank you very much for the remark, sir. And now for the second remark is from our board of artistic. Sir Anas Dwi Satrio, please. Hello everyone. I'm Anas Dwi Satrio as a one of artistic director of this event. First of all, I'm happy and grateful to meet and welcome everyone here. I would like to thank all the participants for the enthusiasts for the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022. May we always be passionate about music, especially during this transition period, and we can be the inspiration for other choirs in Indonesia. We hold the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022 with the live recording concept. This concept is meant for the participants to be able to practice, sing, and perform live by sticking to the health protocols. Last but not least, have delightful days ahead in this 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022. All the best to everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much for the remarks, sir. The next remark is from the chairman of Brawijaya University Student Choir, Michelle Natasha Fania Winarko, please. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya. To the Honorable Chancellor of Universitas Brawijaya, Professor Widodo SSE, MSE, PhD, Med Science, and all of the staff, all of the juries, Board of Artistic and Festival, all of the participants, and all of the committee members of 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival. Hello everyone. First and foremost, let's say our praise and gratitude to God the One and Almighty due to His grace and blessing upon all of us so that in this good occasion, uh, we all can gather up in the best condition of our health. Welcome to you all of the participants of 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022. I would like to thank all of the parties involved, uh, media partner and sponsor, and also to all of the committee members of International Brawijaya Choir Festival who have put in all of their efforts so that the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival can be held properly. As we know, Brawijaya Choir Festival is a choir competition that is conducted uh, biennially by the Brawijaya University Student Choir. This year, for the first time, the desire of Embrace Every Choir from every corner in the world turns the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022 into an international choir competition. The 10th International Brawijaya competition is held with the aim of uniting all solo singers and choirs from various parts of the world in order to give their most beautiful voices so that harmony can be created. This is expected uh, to open the doors of opportunity for all of the choir over the world to participate in the 10th IBCF 2022. Thus, together we can create peace 
embodied in the, the harmony of beautiful choirs. That's all for me. Uh, I apologize if there is any mistake. Uh, thank you and hope all of you enjoy this choir competition and get the best result as well. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom. Om Santi Santi Om Namo Buddhaya. Thank you very much for the remark. And for the last remark is from the Chief of Committee of the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022. Daniel Tumbur Hamonangan Sirait, please. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya. To the Honorable, the Chancellor of Universitas Brawijaya, Professor Widodo SSE, MSE, PhD, Medical Science, and all of the staff, all of the juries, the Board of Artistic and Festival, the General Chairperson of Brawijaya University Student Choir, all participants, and all of the community members of International Brawijaya Choir Festival. Let us praise the presence of God Almighty because for His blessing and grace, we can meet in the competition 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival. This year is a year full of joy because after a year of delaying the Brawijaya Choir Festival with the better condition, we can hold the competition. I would like to thank all those who have helped make this event true and successful. Thank you for the sponsor, media partner, and the donor. I also thank all the community members who have worked hard for the smooth running of this event. As we know, Brawijaya Choir Festival is a choir competition that is conducted biannually by the Brawijaya University Student Choir. The 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival is held with the aim of uniting all solo singers and choirs in order to give their most beautiful voices so that the harmony can be created. The 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival will not be held successfully without the enthusiasm for all the participants. I deeply thank you to all choir members who came from various regions. The conveyed tones and melodies undoubtedly have their own meaning for the participants. Thus, together we can create peace embodied in the harmony of beautiful choirs. We appreciate your effort and cooperation, and we wish you all the best luck. Not to mention our thanks to all the community of 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival, who have wholeheartedly prepared for this event until the day for its execution. All the time, energy, and thoughts that have been poured, hopefully it will result well and in line with the plan. Ladies and gentlemen, achieving victory is not an easy matter that happened suddenly and spontaneously. But victory requires great determination and struggle. I believe our fellow participants have tried opt optimally in their own version. Finally, thank you profusely and happy competing. Let's have joyous moments for the next four days. The eternal of lively tone sing to the whole world sweetly to eternity. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Om Santi Santi Om. Shalom. Namo Buddhaya. Thank you very much for the remark. And now we will watch together an opening video of, of the 10th International, International Brawijaya Choir Festival, Festival 2022. 2022.
Welcome to the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022. Hi, I'm Joseph Crisanto Pantiosto. Hi, I'm Mark Anthony Carpio. Hi, I am Agustinus Bambam Jusa. Hi, I'm Ken Steven. Hi, I'm Dia Ardianimsi. Hi, my name is Maria Teresa Visconde Roldan. Don't miss our first international choir festival from 15th July to 18th July 2022 live on YouTube. See you on the 10th International Choir Festival. Then, what are you waiting for? Be ready for this competition! Of course I'm ready for it. How about you, Raditara? Absolutely yes, I'm 100% ready for it. And now for the surprise, we are going to introduce our jury panels. Well, please let us read for you their brief profile one by one. We will start from Sir Mark Anthony Carpio. Sir Mark Anthony Carpio is a faculty member of the Choral Conducting Department at the University of Philippines College of Music. In 2001, Professor Andrea O. Veneracion, National Artist for Music, chose Mark to see her as choir master of the Philippine Madrigal Singers. Under his leadership, the group has been invited as a guest choir in several international choral conferences in the USA and South America, among others. Sir Mark has been frequently invited to give keynote addresses by prestigious international choral organizations. He has also given online workshops for the Penang Philharmonic Chorus, the University of Arizona ACDA Graduate Chapter, the Choral Brahms Columbia, Bridge Choral Collective Canada, and the University of Minnesota Duluth. Mark has adjudicated in different choral festivals and competitions around the world, including Korea, Indonesia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Japan, Taiwan, Italy, and Latvia. On the second one, we have Ma'am Maria Teresa Visconde Roldan. Finished her Doctor of Musical Arts in Music Education, summa cum laude, at St. Paul University, Manila Graduate School. To strengthen this children's choral movement and choral education in the Philippines, Maria Teresa, together with her husband, arranged Filipino folk songs and writes choral music for the children's choirs. Ma Maria founded the Travel Choir Association of the Philippines and its scholar choirs, the Young Voice of the Philippines and Canta Bella. Her choral works have been published performed and premiered at various choral festivals and competitions around the world. Thus, works were published by Hal Leonard Publishing Company and Pavan Publishing in the USA. Memory has been invited as a guest conductor, choral clinician, and has been given conducting master classes. She has also been invited to adjudicate in prestigious international choral festival and competitions. Presently, Ma Maria is also the Vice President for Projects of the Philippines Choral Directors Association and President of the Travel Choir Association of the Philippines. And now we have Sir Ken Steven. Coming from Medan, 
composer Ken Steven is well known for his Indonesian authenticities and elements with modern techniques and harmonies. He received his undergraduate degree in church music from the Asian Institute for Liturgy and Music, the Philippines, and completed his Master of Music in Choral Conducting from California Baptist University, USA. He served as the Director of Studies at SMK Methodist Charles Wesley Music Vocational School in Medan, North Sumatra, Indonesia. He is also the conductor of Medan Community Choir and has led the choir to achieve many awards in international choral festivals and competitions. His work has made important contributions to the development of choral works in Indonesia. On the fourth one, we have Sir Joseph Pristanto Pantioso. Pursued music education, major in piano at the Yayasan Pendidikan Musik or YPM. He started vocal education at the same school under Mrs. Katarina Wilhelmina, Mrs. Anika Tamsi, and Mrs. Binu Sukaman. He received various awards, including the Golden Artist Award from the YPM. As a singer, he actively collaborates with pianists and conductors, orchestra in various concerts and recitals in Indonesia. In 2008, he became the founder of music education institution Musikasa in Jakarta with Tommy Prabowo. He is active as a jury in various choir competitions, both at national and international levels. He was also trusted to be a speaker at various workshops, vocal master classes, and choir clinics. Next, we have Memdia Ardianingsi. Memdia Ardianingsi is known for her skills as one of the vocal teachers who have made her students perform at national and international levels and singing test Royal Music School of London. She has been working in the music field since 1977 and vocal since 1990. She has also attended national and international concerts. Mem Diah is very experienced in music and vocal arts, which made her become an adjudicator in various local events and national events. In addition, she has often been invited as a speaker and a coach at various events, including at the Clinic Vocal Bersama Diah Narwastu dan Mike Mohede in Kita Anak Negeri, Coach of Association of International Music in Jakarta, Paragita Student Choir, the guest, co the guest coach at the Anderson School of Singapore, and the guest coach in Singapore Management University Concert. Now, she is the vocal director and manager at the Suara Narwastu School of Music. In addition, she is the trainer and instructor at every Pesparawi event in many cities and trains choirs at various institutions in Malang, Surabaya, Jakarta, and other cities. And now we have Sir Agustinus Bambang Jusana. Started to develop his skills in choral music as a member of the students' choir at Parayangan Catholic University, Unpar Bandung. He has been leading some choirs for nearly two decades. Among others, Maranatha Christian University Choir Bandung, Perbanas Institute Choir Jakarta, Gajah Mada University Student Choir Jakarta as conductor, Blue Singers Manado, Borneo Cantata Samarinda, and many more. He has brought the choirs to achieve many awards in some prestigious national and international competitions, such as in Greece, Germany, Spain, Italy, Austria, Malta, Singapore, South Korea, and etc. He has been actively invited as a jury in choir competitions and to give choral clinics in many cities around Indonesia. Currently, he is active as an artistic director and jury in both national and international choir competitions. Next, we have Sir Bagus Shafriza Paradika. Sir Bagus Shafriza Paradika received choral trainings from teachers such as Indonesia, Japan, the Philippines, South Korea, and Singapore. Currently, Sir Bagus is one of the trainers for Unair Student Choir, Ubaya Choir, Koro Semplice Indonesia, and Suarez Varna Indonesia, as well as private classical vocals at Wright Brainstorm Music Studio, Surabaya. Some of the latest achievements and activities were providing choir workshops and choir directors for the Indonesian Catholic Youth Organization in Perth, Australia, as a singer with PSM Universitas Brawijaya, fourth place overall and gold medalist in contemporary category at Segitsi International Choir Competition, 
Gorizia, Italy 2013, and won the second place award in the chamber choir category at the Orientale Consemptus 2018 Singapore with Coro Semplice Indonesia. Sir Bagus Shafriza represented Indonesia at the Asia Pacific Youth Choir in Macau 2011, Beijing 2012, Seoul 2014, and Changdong Nam, China 2019. Sir Bagus has attended training and master classes from various teachers such as Singapore, the USA, and the Philippines. And he is trusted to be a jury panel for choir and opera singers in several competitions at East Java regional and national levels. Avlas is Sir Anas Dwi Satria. Actively participates in various national and international choir festivals or competitions, one of which is the 52nd Segitze International Choral Singing Competition, 2013 Gorizia, Italy. As a conductor, he has led many choir teams to win various competitions, one of which is the Brawijaya University Student Choir, which has won the second grand champion and the best song interpretation in the 2021 SDGCF competitions. He was elected as Indonesia's representative in the 2009 Asian Youth Choir 2009 with singers from 10 countries in Asia under the guidance of Professor Chifuru Matsubara, Japan, and did a concert tour in Bali, Jakarta, and Bandung. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. It has been our pleasure to host this event. We apologize for any unpleasant words or any inconvenience and thank you very much for being with us in this opening ceremony. Last but not least, once again, we would like to say thank you very much to our sponsor Telkomsel and Lingar Prabankara. Well, good luck to all the participants of the 10th International Brawijaya Choir Festival 2022. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom. Om swastiastu, namo buddhaya. And may peace be upon us all.